today, Bory and I are going on a new adventure. We're flying to Russia. Finally, he will get to introduce his Filipino wife to his family in France and show me his country. In the last week's episode, we explored interesting places in Yerevan while we waited for my Russian visa. We faced many hardships and disappointments, but we stayed strong for each other and we were rewarded in the end. And here we are, happy and satisfied, riding in a cab in anticipation of a quick flight to Krasnodar. But at the airport, we got some terrible news. Our flight has been cancelled and rescheduled for a few days later. Another day and another ordeal for us. My husband went to the airline office with our problem, but the staff said there was nothing they could do to help us. Fortunately, he later managed to meet and talk to a representative of the airline, and he agreed to help us change our tickets to another flight. Большое вам спасибо. Вы армянин? Да, армянин. Очень приятно, что такие вот понимающие люди в Армении. Очень приятно. Bory and I were pleased to see many kind and helpful people in Armenia. We ran to the check-in counter because it was already closing, and then to the immigration. Приключения продолжаются. Нас пересадили на рейс до Минводов. Как-то нам надо там переночевать и завтра лететь в Краснодар оттуда. О, все это очень было сложно. Потому что мы купили багаж, оплатили багаж, в общем, первоначально. Но когда мы стали сейчас переделали нам билет, и мы подъехали к стойке регистрации, нам сказали оплачивайте еще дополнительно за два багажа, потому что не знаю, не включили этот багаж, и короче надо в Минводы платить, и из Минвод в Краснодар мы спросили сколько, это где-то сказали тысяч десять рублей. Это больше, чем билет. И мы решили просто выкинуть этот чемодан и купили две сумки. Переложили все вещи туда и оставили чемодан Дарлин в Ереване. There were only a few minutes left before boarding the plane. We're glad we made it. Today was like a roller coaster ride. The plane took off and we said goodbye to Armenia, hoping to visit this beautiful country again someday. We arrived at the airport in Mineralnya Vode, filled out the form for those arriving in Russia and headed out. Berlin came from the plane, and here there is a very cold wind. It's already frozen. Пройдя тут 10-5 метров от самолета. Cold. Cold? Colder than Yerevan? I think so, because it was like windy too, and not just cold and windy. Wind was cold. We took a cab at the airport and asked the driver to take us to the nearest hostel because our flight would be tomorrow around noon. Finally, Bory and I could rest and relax after a busy day. We decided to stay in a dorm-type room because we would only be here for a few hours and there was no one else staying here tonight but us. Ну, Дарлин, сильно болит голова, выпила таблетку. Вот, сейчас будет спать. I found a fridge magnet on my bed with a picture of dogs in it. It said... We will bring happiness. I don't know who live it here, the employees or the hostel guest, but this little magnet made me happy and my husband let me keep it. It certainly brought me happiness after such a tiring day. Для нее даже маленькая такая штучка, и она очень рада. I understand маленькая. The next morning, Borja went to the store looking for something simple for breakfast. What is this? It's so good. 
I really like the snowflake milk drink. I finished the whole box by myself and asked for more as soon as possible. I am really not hard to impress. Snizok. 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 Karovka. 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 Is. Is. Koren. Koren. Korenovki. Yes. Karovka is Korenovki. So after breakfast, we drove to the airport so we wouldn't miss our flight, which was scheduled for noon. We were very happy that our trip would soon be over and we would be with family and friends. But this happiness didn't last long, because we were informed that the flight was delayed again due to the bad weather in Krasnodar. We had no choice but to be patient and wait for the announcement when we could get on the plane. We thought it was only a few hours of delay, but it was evening and we were still at the airport. Just like the other passengers who were headed to the same destination as us. I could no longer fight my exhaustion, so I fell asleep in an uncomfortable position. In the departure lounge not far from us was a store with Piatigor's bronzes. Barry decided to take a closer look at the work of the local craftsmen. There was many sculptures of busts of famous people, toy soldiers, and lots of models of military equipment. The quality of the work is excellent. Craftsmen pay great attention to detail. The airline gave us food for dinner and told us to wait a little longer. And finally, after 10 hours of waiting, we were allowed to fly. Kuban greeted us with snowfall. I thought I already reached the North Pole, but it's still only the south of Russia. <laughs> Boris' friend Andre was waiting for us at the airport in Krasnodar and drove us home to Azovskaya, where Boris' mother has been waiting impatiently for us for days. We were exhausted but happy that it was finally over and we were home. We were hungry and sat down to eat a little before bed. I don't understand Russian, and his mom has never talked to foreigners before. Oh. Ah, warm, warm potato. But I think that soon, we will find a common language and begin to understand each other. The next day, we went to the district center to register me at the place of residence. After that, we went to the local registry office. На всякий случай еще раз уточнить, нужно ли нам регистрировать наш брак на территории России. Они сказали, что нет на территории России признается брак той страны, где мы зарегистрированы. Вот, получается, нам нужно теперь зарегистрироваться только на Филиппинах. When we returned home, we began to look at the gifts that our friends had given us. They had baked delicious honey cakes for us and made the beautiful albums of the photographs we had sent them while in Armenia. And then when we got to the pasta, and then we went down to <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Yes, very, very cute. Boris' mom also gave me a present, which she knitted with her own hands for my arrival. A very useful gift for a Filipina who found herself in cold Russia. Boris and I also brought gifts we bought from Armenia.
<laughs> Andres mother, Zenaida Sergeyevna, invited us for tea and to show me her collection of handmade dolls. In the evening, Borya continued to introduce me with new foods and products. Now, I am trying lard for the first time. Lard was a very tasty new discovery for me. You what? The next morning, Borya went to the district center and on the way back on the bus, he met his friend, the writer, Vadim Ivanovich. He invited him home to meet me. А вас? Она не понимает, Вадим Иванович, а только по-английски. Так ты, наверное, с Филиппины ее привез, а не Она с Армении. Же... Что ты мне голову морочишь? Она же... А я привез ее с Армении, но она... Не правда. Филиппинка. Она Филиппинка? Же... Да. Вот это да. Да, молодец. He told me about Vadim Ivanovich's life in the Siberian taiga and about his book. I listened with interest. His friends stayed with us a little longer and soon we said goodbye. A few days after arriving in Russia, Borya and I became ill. To relieve a dry cough, in addition to the pills, he decided to use a home remedy and made me breathe in a steam of hot water and baking soda. I didn't like it, of course, but I didn't put up much of a fight. I didn't know yet that my husband is about to stick mustard pads on me. It's so <coughs> hot. A real winter has come to Koban, which Borya told me that it doesn't happen often here, but we have to stay home and heal. So for me not to get bored, my husband got a ball of yarn, needles, and showed me the simplest way of knitting, that he learned in his childhood. And now his Filipino girl is diligently trying to master this ancient handicraft. I have never held the crochet needles in my hands. My fingers are unruly, and each new stitch is very difficult for me. Borya wondered when my patience will run out. He thought that maybe I have no talent for needlework. I'll pick it up and quit, but it turns out he underestimated a small but determined girl. In the next episode, I will try a different way of knitting and surprise you with my skills. In addition, we will take a walk through the market and introduce me to the local nature. <laughs>